Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising Weekly Tarot reading July 30th to August 5th 2018 So 4 cards spread uh, for the week and the first card representing the topic for Tauruses this is going to be uh, the 7 of Cups Afterwards we do have the core of the situation here, this is going to be the 7 of Pentacles then we do have the challenges, Tauruses, that you need to overcome. That will be the Six of Wands. And the last one, we do have the guidance for you, which is the Knight of Swords. Pretty straightforward reading, to be honest. Now, the reading it is about wisdom, guys. That is, that is displayed in the numbers here of seven. That we do have double sevens. The seven is the number of, uh, of the wisdom and the knowledge. And that being said, especially as we do have the cups and the, the pentacles there of the topic, and the uh, current uh, and the core of the situation it means that you this week you're gonna sense that something isn't quite right either into your career or either into your relationship it, it's kind of like either is going to be way too good to be true or you will have that nagging sense of that something is not really right and that there will be a terrible mistake made along the way so what happens here with the Seven of Cups is exactly that feeling that something is deceiving you or rather like uh, it is not, it is quite off its place and in order to kind of find its place or in order to foresee what truly isn't working quite well you have to rather be, uh, you, you need to rather be grounded and think logically than, uh, than um, rely mostly on your emotions and your feelings to assess the situation that you are finding yourself either into your career or either into your relationship because the core of the situation here with the seven of pentacles now i will not go to that extreme interpretation as alistair crowley uh, describes the card because crowley describes the card as total ruin whenever this the seven of pentacles takes place there is no room for um optimistic hopes this is how Crowley describes the card but in in that particular situation I cannot see it that grim you know that that card here represents exactly the awareness that uh, something is about to be brought down all right or it's it, the very least it doesn't worth your efforts it doesn't worth your time because you will not pull nothing out of it and the, as a matter of fact here, because we do have the Six of Wands into a challenging position, that will be the challenge, guys. Should you put your effort in there and kind of succeed just to find out that this succession is not going to be yours or the success is not going to be yours or it's rather meaningless for yourself or should you uh, kind of, you know, hold on for a while until the things get clear now uh, how you can kind of scale which kind of a situation in your life it is what I described well um, basically that situation uh, requires a little bit more of a waiting what I mean is that it is yet to a certain um, information to come by or something to happen that it is waiting just around the corner that will be the conditions through which you are going to recognize what the uh, what what which is the situation in your life that you have to be careful with now uh, that could be uh, you know a proposition that you are waiting that could be uh, a report as well that you are waiting so uh, do not act and unless you do have a final word or uh, someone makes you know ir irreversible actions regarding uh, regarding your situations during that particular week and especially when it comes to if you rely on a particular help uh, you should kind of like um, not rely on that particular help during this during this week because we do have the six of wands as a challenges and that card some sometimes points to that a help is arriving or as a challenge it's not going to arrive all right so it will be challenging to receive help <clears throat> from somebody but whatever it is instead of orientating yourself into actions during that particular week guys you should start 
thinking about how you need to act here. And lastly, we do have the Knight of Swords as a guidance card. And that points that you will have to take very swift decision, especially when that thing which is waiting you around the corner and that information that you are waiting to receive or rather is going to come in your way uh, appears. It is when you will have to make that swift decision should you, um, <clears throat> should you work you know upon um, upon this agenda or should it let it go now it will be personal for every single one of you that's why the cards are not pointing is it worth it or is it not worth it you know for some of you unfortunately it's going to be uh, history repeating itself with a, a poignant experience for others of you things are gonna turn out to be truly um, <clears throat> too good to be not too good to be true but they will be truly good and they will be too uh, truly true all right so uh, it does depend again on your personal situation Tauruses and that's why you should not be hasty with your decisions nor with your actions in fact try to calm uh, to calm down try to hold your horses and only act upon a hundred percent secure and uh, clarified things that being said this was your weekly tarot reading Tauruses for July 30th to August 5th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye